Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you math strategies for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I'm the creator of McCarthy Math Academy. I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you so that you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, I'm going to break down a third grade skill that involves decomposing numbers. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, so decomposing numbers. Decomposing numbers means to break down numbers. And it, it's we're kind of using something like expanded form here where we're taking the value of digits and even grouping digits together and breaking them down. If you're thinking, what are you even talking about? Let's just go ahead and jump on into this example to help it make some more sense. All right, so here we have the digits one, nine, two, and six. And the very first thing that I like to do when I'm decomposing numbers is to go ahead and identify the place values of each digit. So the six is in the ones place. That digit two is in the tens place. The digit nine, that's in the hundreds place. And when we read that, we will say the name hundreds. Right here is our comma to separate the periods. We're leaving the ones period now and heading into the thousands period. This is the one thousands place. Okay, so to read this number, we've got 1,926. 1,926. This number right now is written in standard form, standard form. What we are going to do is decompose the number 1,926 a bunch of different ways. I'm just gonna jump into it and see if you can follow along. So the first way, just make a little web here. We've got 1,926. And the way that we can decompose these numbers is to kind of, what I like to do is box up some of the digits and then write it out. Box up some of the digits and write it out. So for the first one, let's isolate each individual digit. Okay, so we've got the digit one, the digit nine, the digit two, the digit six, all in their own box. Now I'm going to highlight each of the boxes and write it down. So we have one, that digit one is in the thousands place. So we have 1,000, and we're going to say plus, we have nine hundreds breaking down this number. Nine hundreds oops, plus we have two tens plus six ones. That would be one way to go ahead and break down that number or decompose the number 1,926. Another way to do it, I'm going to take that same number, 1,926, and now I'm going to box these digits a little bit differently. Watch this. I'll do box the one, box the nine and the two, and box the six. And now we'll record how we're going to decompose this number. So in the first box, we have one, that again is worth 1,000. So it's in, we have 1,000 plus, in the next box, we have 92 together. 92, because we technically have 92 tens. Yes, that nine is in the hundreds place, but when we group it like this, we have 92 tens, 92 tens. And the way that you can do that is to say, we have the one, 1,000, then we have 92 tens. And finally, we have six, and we have six ones, right? So six ones. So this number could also be decomposed or broken down as 1,000 plus 92 tens plus six ones. That's another way to decompose it. Let's try another way. Again, taking this, all right? And this time I'm going to box the one and the nine together and the two and the six together. I'm really just doing this randomly to show you a variety of ways to decompose. So now we'll take it, we've got, oops, we have 19, we have 19 hundreds, 19 hundreds, plus, next we have 26 ones. So we'll write plus 26 ones. And that is another way to decompose this number. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get two more here. We've got 1,926. Um, let's go ahead and do one, nine, and two and six. So we have 192 what? Tens, that's right, that two lands in the tens place. 
192 tens, and we also have six ones. One final way that we could do it would be to consider the entire thing. This actually isn't the final combination of what we can do. I just only have room for one more example there, so we'll make this our final example. And that would be 1,926 ones would be another way to decompose it. That's a lot of ones. All right, so there you have it. We've decomposed this number five different ways. You could keep on going. And I really like to use this box method to teach students how to isolate digits, how to group them together, and also paying attention to our place value, where we are, which place we're in. I hope this makes sense today. And if you're looking for even more support, I'm about to break down a few next steps that you could take. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for Taking on the Best, good news, Taking on the Fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.